Uh, like I said, I'm not coming here asking you for anything or whatever like that. I'm just letting you know what I went through and how I feel. Like uh, basically a, a, a news story just basically about my treatment by some of the people here uh, and maybe what I feel about, you know, the whole situation and stuff like that of, you know, with possible layoffs and stuff like that. You know, some people from the media and stuff have, uh, you know, contacted me a little bit or I reached out to them. Going through the list alphabetically. Huh? Media's going through the list alphabetically or you... Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I, I reached out to someone too also. You know, I'm not going to, you know... Is a threat No, no, this is not a threat. This is not a threat at all. Like I said, because I'm not asking you for anything. I'm just letting you know. Uh, what I've gone through and and what I feel, you know what I mean? So, let me just say that New York State mm -hmm. has Department of Labor, they've got places that, you know, that I don't know if you've heard from the National as far as the treatment from the union. Mm -hmm. uh, if you feel the company hasn't treated you properly mm -hmm. and you want me to investigate it, put that in writing, I'll investigate it. If you feel I still let them not providing it, uh, the state, and I can uh, make sure you get who the right people at the state are so that they can take a look at it and say, well, the company handled it right or the company didn't handle it right. If you want to go to the media and say, uh, you know, here's what I think, but I don't want to pursue it, I don't want to bring it, this is your opinion, mm -hmm. but you don't want to bring it to a resolution. You just want to take it to the media. You, you know, but you're right, too. Right. But we do have a policy against employees talking to the media. Right. So. But, but at the same time, uh, you know, I believe that I, I went through a lot of those. Uh, like, if the union's not backing me, right? Because I went, I, I went to the labor dispute, you know, and talked with them, too, and covered my basis on that. The union's not backing me. Or they told me, uh, you know, flat out that there's really nothing that they could do. You know, so, uh, you know, I don't I don't really see uh, anywhere, you know, everyone's just like, you know, just even thing like with this thing with the U of R. Now, them, I'm actually trying to take them to court. You know what I mean? I'm not, a threat would be like, okay, I'm trying to take, you know, RTS and, the, and some of the employees, I've been harassed, this and that. You know, I'm not doing that. I'm not pursuing that at all. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm kind of, you know, letting that part go. So what, what would the news story, what would you want the news Well, it, it would just uh, kind of just basically report some of the stuff that, that whatever I just sat down here and, and just told you, you know, that, that you know, there's been a, maybe a little bit of harassment, maybe there's been a sense. Want, and you don't want anybody to look into it because you're not filing any charges, you're not filing a complaint. Uh, so you're slandering the reputation I have as a CEO without filing a complaint so that it can be resolved. Okay, well maybe you can show me how I could, how I could resolve because I don't I don't know any other. Uh, uh, you know, I went here. I tried to talk with you. You know. Uh, but you're not, you're not asking me to resolve it. Well, no, I mean I did before, but you told me remember that your hands were probably like far as me getting my. Senor, you follow the rules of the. Yeah, before remember you told me you follow the rules of the uh, of the union thing. Remember we talked on uh, email yeah. or whatever like that. So, I mean, as far as I know, you, know, you told me basically, hey, your hands are. This is you know. This, this is the process. Right, right, right. Okay, and, and, and as part of the process, people are saying uh, nothing's happened here that's wrong. You still feel it's wrong then the next step is New York State mm -hmm. Labor uh, who takes a look at someone's the company, the company, the company mm -hmm. says we don't feel we did anything wrong the next step is to file a complaint outside the company okay well I mean like I said I talked to the local labor and they told me if my union's not behind me that there's not too much that they could do that's what they said but I mean, he said, if I go to New York State, hey, I'll try, and I'm willing to try, you know, whatever to help, you know, resolve the situation. Of course, we know time is ticking with me anyway, because, you know, it probably would be layoffs, maybe. I don't know, you, you said 88 people, you didn't give a date, so I don't know what school, what, at the end of the summer? Uh, 
the school district and Mm-hmm. So what, end of the summer? So the what's, there's been no agreement to do work beyond uh, the end of the current school year, June 28th or whatever it is. Okay, so the beginning of the summer then it might be layoffs. Okay, oh. Good morning. I'm all right, yourself? I was reviewing some of the information that uh, I had heard about before. He doesn't feel a satisfactory resolution. He wanted to let me know before he talks to the media. Mm -hmm. I said that there are avenues outside the company, that there's state mm -hmm. uh, department, uh, that uh, if you feel, you know, the union hasn't supported you, uh, that there is a policy against speaking to the media mm -hmm. that you would need to be aware of. And mm -hmm that he should exhaust that. And he said, well, what's that next step? Mm -hmm. What's the department that he should reach out well, to? Well, it's the State Division of Human Rights. You can go and file paperwork. What that does is it initiates a process where an independent party, if you will, will, will speak with you and do an investigation. The information or the request, the notification, once you do that, comes right to me. Bill gets notified as well. And we're required to No, I'm sorry, do you have the, uh, the okay, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Um, it's a very simple process. There's mm -hmm. no charge to do it. Okay. It's just basically going down and filling out a form. Okay. What that does is it initiates an investigation. That's what you do for the request, uh, the request for paper work. And then look at all of the information and then, you know, decide is there something that we neglected to do or should do differently? Um, do, is there a policy? Have we violated anything um, in relation to your rights or our policies? Okay. Abasi, um, you're, you're free to do that. I encourage you to do that as opposed to talking with the media. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that will bring any resolution from a, from a knowledgeable, skilled sort of party that's mm. used to dealing with conflicts that do arise like this. Okay. 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 Is that helpful? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm going to go down that avenue and, okay. and, and see what happens and stuff okay. like that. Uh, right. And then also, yeah, uh, can you, do you have a copy of your, your policy against, you know, talking to the media? Uh, mm. thing? Sure. I'm just sure. get one of those yeah. too, okay. Mm -hmm. Rossi, here is the number. Okay. Um, the office is located on Monroe Avenue. Okay. Um, near Alexander. There. Okay. And um, there's the phone number. Okay. That I would suggest is a starting point okay. for you. You may want to speak with them. If, okay. Um, if they don't feel that's the best way or mm -hmm. place, they'll redirect you. Okay. You may also want to talk with an attorney. Okay. Um, and I know you requested a copy of the policy. Mm -hmm. May I email that to you later this morning? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. You got my email address? I do. Okay. I do have it. Okay. okay. All right. Is there yeah. anything else I can do? Uh, nope, nothing else I can All think right. of right now. Thank you very much. Okay, well.